So, I haven't done a vlog in a little while, not since ShutoCon, but I figured that I should talk about things that have happened in like the last couple weeks, which is awesome. Um, I got some fabric in, and it looks like this. Wait, which side? And I'm going to use it for a particular Lolita outfit that I'm doing, because... I like being a big old queen. I have been gardening because I am a Susie homemaker. I've been doing like various plants and stuff, cucumbers, uh, tomatoes, various like herbs, basil, that kind of thing. So, you know, I don't know. I like gardening for some reason. Organic plant food smells like ass. Get my hands dirty. What? Bitch, I'm making a vlog coming in here interrupting me. Oh, well, we got the dogs in here. Patrick, come here. I found this dog on the side of the street. And he's cute. And he smells a lot, often. But I usually just, like, let it go, and then I just talk to it, and then I, like, go back and just start, like, cutting shit. You talk to it? Do you, like, hold it close and go ahead and... I'm just like, oh, oh. I think that's what a lot of vloggers do. Just oh. Like, oh, you too. And that's what they do. They're, as Oprah would call it, the JJ. I just like to call her cunt. That's what she does. <laughs> Baby! <laughs> Baby! Right? That's what she does. I, li I like bees. I fed my cat today, who is usually hungry, all the time. He's always the first one up at 4 a.m., making sure that we know in, like, three hours he's going to eat. So he's sitting on my chest going, Ow! I'm like, God damn it. Ah, uh, I will feed you in three hours. Go away. And usually I just like <clears throat> snuggle him for a while. But uh, so this evening I came home and he gets fed at 6.30 p.m. I keep him on a very strict schedule because he actually had gotten to like 22 pounds and then he broke his leg like pulling some shenanigans with with my ironing board. So after paying like a shit ton of money to have his leg fixed and feeling horrible for like three months while his leg was in a cast and he had to like a hobble around like Gollum, um, we put him on a diet so that his leg when it healed would not have to support so much weight. And he's actually lost 10 pounds, which is amazing. So he's at like 12 something now. And um, I, that's because I had to put him on a strict diet. So he gets a half a can of food in the morning and a half a can at night. And, um, so tonight I was going to feed him and he, uh, is screaming and he's like, he wants his food and he follows me around and like rubs up against my leg. Like that's going to make me put the food in the bowl faster. I'm already open in the can. And so I set it down and he starts eating and I walk away and, uh, I start cleaning out the cat boxes cause the door is going to move in here in like, I don't know, four months, three months. God damn. I hope it's sooner cause I want that bitch to live here. And so we had used the spare room and had just had a litter box in there. There was nothing else. So I was cleaning that up and getting that box out and whatever, and moving that down to the basement with the other litter box. And uh, all of a sudden I start hearing this, and I was like, God damn it. And I went into the kitchen and there's like this giant pool of cat puke, which basically is warmed up cat pate. And I'm like, shit, really? Shit. Because now you're just going to be hungry again in 10 minutes. And sure enough, after he puked again on the couch, he was sitting at the bowl expecting another dinner. And I was like, no, no, you are not getting another dinner. This is the end. So I told him, I was like, you're done. You're, you're done. So move on. And he was pissed. And that's just a fun story for you about why my cat puked tonight. So I've had a really awesome week. Actually, it's been really terrible, which is why I titled the blog the way I did. And it's been awesome. So I'm going to talk to you about it. Like you give a shit. I'm in this like perpetual fight with my mother and that's awesome and heartbreaking. And I feel terrible about it, but I don't know what to do at this point. And it's long sorted tale and you don't need to hear the odds and ends of it. But anyway, so I'm basically on the verge of crying pretty much every day, which is awesome. So this all like got worse this last weekend and on Sunday specifically, which was great. So Monday I was really productive in sewing.
even though it had to do with pleats, and I fucking hate pleats. I hate them. I will gather yards and yards and yards. I have gathered tool from all the way from my basement, through my kitchen, down the hallway, and made it to my sewing machine. I don't even care. But make me pleat something, and I swear to God, I will set it on fire. And then I will set you on fire. And then I'll start killing people and eating babies, because that is what I do when I have to pleat. Even though I had to plead, I was making good progress on Monday. And Tuesday, I made some more progress, which was great. Because this commission is, like, months and months overdue. And seriously, Bianca, I am really sorry if you're watching this. I have been trying to make progress on this. But this is why I don't commission uh, for anyone but my friends. Because I don't have time, really, for it right now. <laughs> I made good work on Monday, I made good work on Tuesday, and when we watch RuPaul's Drag Race, and you need to watch RuPaul's Drag Race because of Sharon Needles. I'm on Team Needles. Like, Sharon Needles. <sighs> there are so many great queens on that show, though, like Jujube and Raven and Chad Michaels and Pandora Box and Sharon Needles. We, uh, my friend, one of my friends, Sammy, she comes over uh, once a week and uh, catches the show after we've already watched it because I just can't stand it and I download it and on Tuesday we watch it after it airs on Monday. I'm over on Wednesday this time because her work schedule is a little wonky and so she comes over and we start watching the show and I feed the cats. Well, our kitchen is set up so that the cat bowl, like, okay, the people that lived before us were fucking morons that lived here that we bought the house from. And they, like, did not do the kitchen right. So there's, like, a, there's like two sets of cabinets that are not above countertops. And so one of the cat bowls is underneath, like, the one of the, countertop, one of the cabinets on the wall that doesn't have any uh, countertop underneath it. So I set the food bowl down. And usually I'm really good. But today I really just, or Wednesday, I really just wasn't. And I stood up and bam! Oh, God, that hurt! And I had to fucking cuss and scream as loud as I could because it hurt so goddamn bad. I slammed my head on the bottom of that cabinet and fuck did that hurt. So after I got done screaming, I felt really nauseous and dizzy the rest of the night, which was fucking fantastic. No, I don't have a concussion. And yes, I'm fine. At the same time, I was trying to like figure out why I had this rash and I've had it for like a while now and it's just been getting worse it doesn't itch or anything and I've deduced that it's some sort of hives from being allergic to something and one of the things that like the internet talked about was that it was coffee is an allergen that makes you break out in hives so I was like all right fine I'll try and cut coffee here well apparently my body tries to fucking kill me when I don't have coffee so Back to my head hurts. I'm dizzy. It's Wednesday night. Whatever. Sammy goes home early and we just like went to bed and I was just like done. And I woke up Thursday and I didn't feel great and I had a constant headache and I just like chalked it up to I slammed my head into a cabinet and I don't feel great. And so uh, I'm at work and I'm just like totally groggy and I have no energy and I feel the absolute shit. And so we got home and we all felt like shit like like Olivia Perry. I We all felt like shit. And that night, Thursday night, so we went to bed at like 8 o'clock, like old people. And um, I did not sleep well. I woke up every hour on the hour, and I would wake up and sit up and like look around the room. And then I would like realize that it was 2 a.m. or 3 a.m. or 4 a.m. or 5 a.m. and then go back to sleep. And I don't know if it was because I was like, like touching like my head or something. So anyway, when I woke up this morning, I had like no sleep, and it was great. And like my, I don't feel dizzy, and my head doesn't like wasn't like throbby hurting anymore it was still like a minor headache just like kind of hanging out there but like it's definitely tender like right here on top of my head so I go to work today and again without coffee and my body I swear was trying to murder me I felt like shit all day oh god I'm sitting there and I'm just like ready to die like literally ready to just die and so I was like you know what fuck I would rather have a rash and drink coffee that is, that is where this went, is I would just rather drink coffee and have this rash if coffee is the reason why I have it. And so after work, I went to Starbucks, and 10 minutes into sucking down a quad venti peppermint mocha iced, I felt amazing. My headache was gone. I felt like I had all the energy in the world, and I felt great. And I feel like I could do so much, which is why I'm vlogging right now, is because I have so much energy, and it's wonderful, and I missed it. I have no idea why on God's green earth I tried to give up coffee because that was obviously the dumbest thing in the entire world to do. All of that combined, like, family drama, 
smashing my head into a cabinet and being like completely coffee deprived of my body trying to like kill itself all week has just made this week really awesome. So I decided tonight and this weekend I have to be productive because ASIN is in fucking a couple of weeks. Like seriously, it is in like three weeks and I am going to scream and I have so many things to do and it's fine. It's fine. We'll get the important stuff done. And what doesn't get done, it's not a big deal because we have other stuff to wear, so I won't worry about it. Obviously, Adora's UA is going to get done first, and it is going to be so gorgeous. I am, like, making a couple of little changes and adjustments so that we can do, like, the ghost fabric and stuff like that. So I'm really excited about it. Gross. Does anybody else have a really bad habit of wipe wiping their lip on the back of their shirt? Because I do. So I decided to stop being a really bad uh, Animu fandom and or Animu fan and uh, download some Animus. So I downloaded Persona 4, which is basically just the Animu of the game. And Perry, I watched Perry play the game because I, I don't know, I'm I need to play the games, but it was just easier to watch him, watch him play and like disappear during like the boring day to day stuff. And come back when, like, something important was happening. So, but we never finished it. And I think it's because he got bored or Assassin's Creed came out or something. And so we never finished Persona 4. So I downloaded a couple episodes. So we're going to watch that later. And then I downloaded, what was that one? Cartoon was talking about it on Facebook. And I was like, all right, bitch, I will watch this because you say it's awesome. Something. Bakato. Bakato test. Yes, that one. I remembered. I'm awesome. So I downloaded those and I haven't watched them yet, but I'm going to. They're on my phone, which I'm using right now to record the vlog because my phone is awesome. Oh, also, what made today awesome besides coffee is Dream Zoo had an update, and I have not been able to play that game for three weeks now, and I have seriously been losing my goddamn mind, because Dream Zoo is possibly one of the best games for a smartphone ever invented by Zynga. Where's my paycheck? You just, you need to get it. If you have a smartphone, it doesn't matter if it's an iPhone or an Android, whatever, if you have a smartphone, you need to get Dream Zoo, because it is awesome. And so, Dream Zoo, yes. It needs to happen. So anyway, they had an update when I got home and I had coffee, I had Wendy's, so I was eating my burger, I got my Dream Zoo update, and then it's working, and I'm like, yes! And so I was like going around, I was collecting all my monies and making sure my babies was hatching and all that stuff, because you know, Dream Zoo is obviously the pinnacle of my life, which might be a little sad. So I'm going to ASIN and I'm trying to get some costumes done, but I'm definitely getting Adora's UA finished. And it's going to be really cute uh, because of like some of the way the fabric is done and like uh, we're going to embellish it with an obi in the back, but that's going to be attached to a cincher. So I'm going to actually use flat steel boning and create a cincher for her and she'll wear that around her waist instead of like a waist belt. Then because of the cincher, she'll have balance when I attach the obi and have the fabric from the obi wrap around and attach in the front of the skirt, which will form the mystery fabric, which is held up by ghost-like powers. So instead of ghost-like powers, we're gonna use modern ingenuity and use a cincher, yay! Um, I have to remake the wig for her because I used an epic cosplay wig and nothing against them. Their wig fibers are amazing, but the wig head was just too small. And I uh, wasn't knowledged enough at the time to open up the wig head, and it has now suffered through a terrible ASEN last year of being in the back of a truck while May fought off a raccoon, and that just didn't go well for the wig. So we decided to trash it and get an Arda wig. That wig is gorgeous, and I love Arda. Where's my paycheck again? I haven't seen my first one, but I assume that you're good for it. And the Arda wig came, and it's beautiful, and it's long, and I forget what one we got, but we got one of the long ones. It has, like, long bangs, too, so I can add in, like, the UA bangs again with the beading and stuff. Uh, we're gonna flip a couple of the things in the back so I can pull it up into a high ponytail. Uh, just because Arda doesn't really have, like, a good wig that lets you pull it up into a high ponytail. Like, I know they just released the Jasmine, but I haven't really seen that, so I, I mean, I had already gotten this wig, and I just, I need to like review the jasmine a little bit more before I decide to go that way. So anyway, um, we're gonna do that. And then I want to get Charlotte done for Princess and the Frog because obviously I need a giant pink dress with a pannier. I wanna do this 
so bad because I see, and not to like diss on people, because obviously Disney did this like on purpose, like I don't know why they did this, but in the show when they flip her over because she's freaked out about the frogs, they show her with a hoop skirt, but when they draw her, she clearly has a pannier under there because it is, it comes out and goes down. It doesn't like just go around. So all the cosplayers that I've seen do it, they usually do a hoop skirt. And I really want to do the pannier because I just, I really think that not only is that accurate to the costume, but I just want a giant pink skirt. I mean, I'm just not even going to lie to you right now. I would like all the pink, all of the pinks. So I'm hoping to try and get that accomplished. But if anything, I'm going to make sure that, um, UA gets done, and then um, my roommate Olivia is doing Azuma Real Kajinka, and it's going to be a super cute, like, kind of 1950s look like my mischievous Kajinka, and, uh, which I fixed, by the way, so it fits me a little bit better. I just need to make the belt for it, and then I'm solid. Then we're going to go to Asen, and I'm going to be in the gaming... Excuse me. I'm going to be in the gaming room most of the time because I'm on staff in the gaming room. So come see me. I'll play games. Actually, you'll play games, and I'll supervise you maybe we'll play games together it all depends on how busy i am there and i probably actually will be really busy so just come say hi and i'll give you a hug and and then we'll part ways as unlikely friends <laughs> might be a little gross.